you've been looking at complications and the economic burden of whatever decision the patients and their doctors take about local therapy. Now that's very interesting because there are quite a wide number of options. Can you tell me why, though, you particularly thought this was important to study? Sure. So, you know, probably once or twice a month, I may see a patient who comes to MD Anderson, and she's just been diagnosed with breast cancer. And if you look up on the NCCN guidelines, there are patients who could appropriately be treated with lumpectomy and nothing else lumpectomy and brachytherapy, lumpectomy and whole breast radiation, mastectomy, or even mastectomy and reconstruction. And so one patient could be choosing, and we may be counseling her about all five of those different treatment options. It's important that women actually understand all of the different consequences of the various choices. It's not just a medical or scientific decision, is it? Exactly. And so far, there haven't been any good studies that specifically look at all those treatments and align the different complications and compare them from treatment to treatment. So what did you do in the study that you've now reported here at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Meeting? So we put together two very large cohorts of patients, one cohort of older patients with Medicare insurance and one cohort of younger patients with private insurance. And we looked at the complication burden of the different treatments, and then we also looked at the cost. Why did you go for the uh, state-financed treatment as compared with the private treatment? Yeah, well, the, the um, state-financed treatment is a little cleaner cohort because you have patient information linked to their tumor data, and, and so that makes it a little easier to study. Uh, but we were also particularly interested in mastectomy and reconstruction, and that's fairly infrequently used in older patients, but much more commonly used in younger patients. So what did you do? Um, so we looked at these two cohorts, and we looked at complications as determined by medical claims, by the insurance claims, uh, and then we did statistical models to see how the treatment was associated with the complication. So there's complications, also cost is Yeah, involved, so isn't we it? also looked at cost. We looked at total cost, complication-related cost, and then the difference between the two. And your findings? So uh, we found that in both cohorts, um, there was a, almost a doubling in the risk of complication with mastectomy and reconstruction compared to lumpectomy and whole breast irradiation. We also found that there was a fairly high burden of cost imposed by complications of mastectomy and reconstruction, reaching about $10,000 per patient for younger women with private insurance. A mastectomy without reconstruction then did better, did it? Very low complication rate uh, and much l lower cost. What are your understandings coming out of these facts then? Yeah, so I think our understanding are that there's some treatments that appear to have higher value than others when viewed through the lens of the complication and the cost. And that's really helpful for patients. It's also helpful for society to uh, think about how we want to invest our resources to give patients the highest value and the highest quality care. Of course, you may have higher complication risk and higher costs, but it may still be highly desirable for a woman to have the reconstruction with the mastectomy. Yeah, so if you have to have a mastectomy, it still may be totally worth it to do the reconstruction. But if you're sitting here and you don't have to have the mastectomy and you can get away with something a lot simpler, well, maybe that's the way to go. There's also been a comment here, I believe, about the difference between autologous tissue reconstruction or having implants. Right. Right, so we looked at that a little bit, and we, we didn't have time to present all that data, but we found the implant was a little less expensive than autologous and seemed to have a slightly better complication profile within the first two years. And where does this leave the discussion between whether to have lumpectomy or mastectomy in women who could well choose either? Yeah, so I think if retaining a breast mound is important to you as a patient, uh, a lumpectomy-based strategy is an easier way to achieve that outcome. If, as a patient, you don't really care and you'd be happy to just have a mastectomy and leave it at that, our data indicate that that's also a, a low complication, high value treatment. We've also been hearing here in San Antonio that lumpectomy has quite a, a good health record too, doesn't it? Yeah, so um, the randomized trial data indicate that survival is essentially equivalent between lumpectomy and radiation and mastectomy, so that's reassuring. So that's one of the reasons I have a job as a radiation oncologist. So could you pull this together for me in terms of your summary of what doctors need to understand coming out of the facts that you've assembled on complications and costs in the different options for local therapy in breast cancer? 
Yeah, so I think that um, what we found is that for women who wish to retain a breast mound, either their native one or reconstructed one, we found that for young women, lumpectomy and whole breast radiation appears to be the highest value treatment. And for older women, either lumpectomy alone or lumpectomy plus whole breast irradiation appear to be the highest value treatments. And if you go for reconstruction, uh, then what then? What are your advice? Uh, what is your advice then? Um, right, so if you have to have a mastectomy, then it's fine to go for reconstruction as well, but there is an increased burden of complications, and so you'll just want to make sure you pick a good plastic surgeon who's going to work with you to give you the very best outcome possible. The overall take-home message for doctors then is what? Uh, I think for doctors, you, you could kind of say that our findings would suggest that less is a little bit more um, with regard to minimizing complication and optimizing value. Mm -hmm.